um, had uh, someone in Cranfield, England, write me a, an email this morning for my blog site saying that uh, they hope I'd save the face of the mountain man. Well, sorry, I tore it off yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started on this. You'll see the TV on in the background. I'm watching uh, the series John Adams. Uh, just need something to entertain my mind while I'm sculpting. And uh, so, let's get busy. covering it and he'll be wearing uh, leather clothing so it'll be covered pretty heavily. All I'm doing is just establishing where parts and landmarks of his body is by putting in like the scapula in the back and, uh, and the collarbone I'll put, be putting in here and also these bones uh, in his arm, the ulna and the radius and uh, the Anyway, it's just, uh, I'm doing all that just to establish where everything's going. Uh, I'm not going to worry about getting every little strand of muscle in there. Um, I'd do that when I was learning, but, uh, you know, quite honestly, I don't need to do that now. It saves time not to worry about every little detail of the muscles.
I can't uh, tell you how much better it is to be able to take the head off the body and work on it separate because and to take the whole figure off for that matter it's just so much easier to work on them and you get a better result on the face if you can take it and work on it in the round uh, easily rather than trying to work between a neck and the head um, I think this is about it for today um, I feel like uh, you know there, there's a point in it that you just feel like you should just quit, take the night off, come back and work on it tomorrow. And that's at the point that I am now. Um, I'll determine if, if I put hair on them or not. I'm thinking having them a balding white guy, but I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. I'll come to that decision tomorrow or in the next few days. Uh, so I will just uh, see what happens tomorrow.